Dudes and dudettes of YouTube land, it's Frank with What's the Point EDC. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing good on this magnificent Monday. It is my card of Monday, so you know I'm going to be rocking a my card of knife. Here we go. Today is the SE laser strike for my card of Monday. How's everybody doing today? What are you guys carrying today? I got my YouTube Skull Gang beat on there. You know what time it is. You gotta be part of the Skull Crew, Jack. The Skull Dudad. Alright, everybody. Let me put this bad boy up. I did rit dye them handles. Let me go ahead and show you. This is the sheath. This is the knife. Love, love, love. Okay, so today is gonna be a Rake P138-B video. This is a G10 scaled knife. 14C 28M blade steel. It's a flipper running on washers, Tanto blade, wicked grind, badass knife, it's space looking, you know if these were titanium, oh that'd be so badass, cool clip, uh huh, look at that backspacer running down through there, there's your secondary lock on it, but enough talking for today, or as of right now, let's go ahead and disassemble that, because that's what this video is about, disassembly, it's very cakey in there, it doesn't want to, uh, it still operates just fine, but I've put it through so much and it's been so dirty and I just want to know what it's like inside. So I can't find a single video on YouTube about this being disassembled. So we're going to disassemble it, guys. How's everybody's Mother's Day? No, I was curious about that. Let's go ahead and get it on. Guys, this is a T7. I'm supposed to be using a T6, but I don't have one, so it is what it is. It could be worse, right? Okay, why is that not falling out of there? Okay. Let's not lose anything now, guys. So we're going to use my scientific tray. What's everybody carrying today? Put it in the comments. How's everybody doing today? Today is Monday. I'll be watching Mattis Faction's Mental Health Monday with uh, said Steve, I believe, and Sharif Manganis. It's cool. Here you guys go, there's without the uh, clip. Uh, I don't think I'll be putting it back together for one reason, because uh, it'll be a very long video if I do that as well. So it'll just probably be just a disassembly video. Because you guys know I babble on for a long time, and I do things a little slow, and yeah, yeah, you know, reasons. We got reasons. Okay, what do we got over here? Two over here, okay. This is a very good knife. I did a hard use demonstration on it. I will link it in the description. Go check it out. This knife is still on the factory edge and is sharp as hell still. There's one tiny nick in the blade and that's because I was a fool and decided I was going to throw it and I'm pretty sure it landed on one of the small little rocks I have laying out back. Now when I say I throw it, I didn't just like chuck it at the ground. I have stumps that I throw things at and I had set up a target. It's a cool knife, guys. Seriously. Why that didn't come out? I don't know. It's loose. Let's do it like this. This is my first time taking this apart. I figured, I was like, you know what? Let me see if anyone's ever taken it apart. Because I just took apart the Civivi Maxwell, and that had never been taken apart on YouTube either. Where's it at? There we go. Let's swap out real quick. We're four minutes in. Is this thing like captive or something? I don't know what's going on. There we go. There we go, guys. We're in there now. I'm really curious to see what this secondary lock looks like. There it is. What do you know? See it? This slides forward. That goes forward, preventing that, the liner lock from engaging. Okay. As you guys can see, I overoil everything. She is nasty. Look at that. Wow. Got parts going everywhere. There it is. There's your blade. Let's clean her on up. Yeah, I'm definitely not putting this back together on video. That'll take forever. But we're going to disassemble it completely so everybody can see the entire knife. Look at the bearings on this. What? Check that out. 
That's cool. Do I need to take it apart? Should I just leave it as it is? Hmm, we're gonna finish disassembling it though. Funny thing is, is I'll take it apart and won't be able to get it back together and I have to take it into the knife shop to have them do it. <laughs> or I'll have to watch this video back to attempt to figure out how to uh, get it back together. There's your scale, G10. Yup, there you go. Freaking sweet, ain't it? Let's clean her all up. Big ass fucking, what's it called right here? Trying to clean stuff up with it. Look at them bearings, guys. Let's take it out. Or should we not? We should probably leave it in there. Cool, guys. Cool. There's everything. Focus, Jack. There we go. Let's clean her on up. Mm-hmm. Looking much better now. Let me finish wiping it on down. Because everything is all nasty for some reason. Here's little pens. I better put all this stuff up before I lose it all. Yep. Oh, there ain't no way I'm putting this back together on video, guys. It will be a 25-minute video. I'll do that. There she is. Rake P one oh uh, P P one thirty five dash B. I got the camera going wild right now. All right, everybody. There's your barrel pivot deal. I'm gonna attempt to put this thing back together now. All right, everybody. If you're an addict, never quit quitting. Stay strong and live long. If you're dealing with bad thoughts, please reach out. Help is closer than you think it is. All right, everybody. I brought you guys some uh, disassembled sharp knives. A little bit of good vibes. I will link the hard use description video of this right here. Hard use description, hard use demonstration. Uh, link to this uh, knife in the description. Stumbling, mumbling, and fumbling. All right, everybody, I'm up out of here. Peace out and take care. Much love.